Alright man, this is part two of trading psychology, man. Um, let's just get straight into it, man. Um, stepped away from the charts. This right here was so hard for me. Like, we wanted bad, man. I wanted bad. And me busting crazy hours studying so hard, man. It was it was hurting me, man. It was hurting me mentally. It was hurting people that was around me. I, I just didn't care about nothing but the charts, man. And stepping away from the charts is good. It's healthy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying step away from charts for a long period of time. What I'm saying is when you are on the charts day in and day out, I'm talking about busting crazy hours. I'm talking about over 12 hours a day. That's what I was doing. I'm talking about, I'm ignoring everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just barricading myself in a room, just putting in crazy hours, man. That's not healthy, bro. That obsession can cause depression, bro. For real. You be on the charts all day, you just trying to figure it out. You just hopping strategy, strategy, just trying to find the holy grail, man. You just busting ass, man. It's going to make you depressed, man. Because especially if you don't get no results and you've been doing that, that's going to really mess up your mental, bro. I'm telling you. So step away sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And the sad thing about trading is you will step away and your mind is still thinking about some charts, bro. <laughs> you trying to enjoy, say say you with your girl, you trying to enjoy your time with your girl, but in the back of your mind, you thinking about what EURUSD just did yesterday. You know what I'm saying? That's how <laughs> we put, once we put our mind on something, we can't stop thinking about it. We really can't stop thinking about it. So, I, like, stepping away from charts will really help you from... It will make you level it out. Because when you be putting in crazy hours and you're not enjoying yourself when you go out, you're not really doing anything else. You're not rewarding yourself. It's okay to reward yourself for being disciplined for a week. For, for cutting your losses early. It's okay to reward yourself and just go out and just sometimes splurge sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Because when you're in front of these charts all day, and you just, you think, this is this is the crazy part about Forex. It's some people that would uh, study less than you and would do better than you. Facts. Facts. I put in crazy hours when I first started. Now, I only study maybe one hour a day, maybe two hours a day. Some days, I... It was, I think it was like two weeks in a row, I didn't back test at all, and I was killing the market. I'm talking about killing the market. And it's because we think that just because we're putting in crazy hours, that that's going to give us something back. And that's not for us. That, may, that might work in your business or at your job, but this is, this is a whole different ballgame. You feel me? So, like, we can't treat this like any other, anything else. But, but what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like we have to treat forex as forex. Don't treat it as a job, don't treat it as, um, I put in more hours, I'm gonna be more satisfied. No, you put in more hours, that can cause you to be depressed, bro. Straight up, because I, I, I went into depression. I did. Yeah, I, it happened over the summertime. I was putting in so many hours, it was sunny outside, and I'm in the house getting no sun, bro. You know what I'm saying? Us black people need sun. I mean, we ain't gonna get into that, but I'm just saying, bro. Black people need sun. And I'm in, the, I'm in the crib just looking at monitors all day. It's looking beautiful outside. And I'm just looking at monitors trying to figure out, like, okay, let me get this strategy down. I got to go crazy. You know, all of that. And that hurt me because it made me unhappy. And it made me frustrated getting to the charts. When I used to lose, I, it used to be, like, two times worse every time I lost because I think just because I'm putting in crazy hours that it's going to reward me. It's not, bro. So stepping away from the charts, it's so hard, man. It's so hard. Like <laughs> when trading become a part of you, it's gonna be so hard to step away from the charts. Make step away from it for maybe a week, maybe a week or two. Some people didn't want to step away from the charts during the holidays. I'm like, dog, spend your spend time with your family, man. Like that, I'm telling you, bro. If you on the charts. 
10 plus hours every single day and you've been doing this for a long period of time and you still doing that crazy amount of hours i can see if you at the beginning i'm gonna give you a pass if you knew and you just obsessed with forex hey i was the same way but if you at least a plus year in about to go even two plus years in and you still doing crazy hours like that bro you're gonna get burnt out you're gonna get burnt out man and i feel like you can never like when you really have a passion for forex you're never gonna get tired of it but if you're doing crazy hours you're gonna get really like i'm tired of back testing like me i'm i literally i'm so tired of back testing i have seen every scenario in the book as far as my strategy like i bro so, stepping away from the charts can be healthy for the people that's around you, man. If you are in a relationship, you feel me? Don't be going crazy on this, man, and not giving your, your partner no time. Because I'm telling you, they affect you in the market, man. <laughs> they affect you in the market. If you got any personal stuff going on, your, your, your boy, your boyfriend tripping, your girl tripping, you go in the market... You're going to be thinking about what's going on on the back end. I'm telling you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just got into a fight. You in the market. You trying to you trying to make that money back. You know what I'm saying? You about to force a trade. You about to do anything to make yourself feel good. So, listen, man. Stepping away from charts can probably be the best thing that ever happened to you. I know this one trader. She literally stepped away from a chart for a whole month. Came back and started going crazy, bro. You don't forget the stuff that you know. I can literally go months and months without back testing, get back to the chart, and know exactly what I'm looking for. But that also came with me being obsessed with this at the beginning. I don't go, I don't go crazy like that anymore, bro. I won't lie to y'all. Like for real, bro. Like once you get really good at your strategy, you know the ins and outs of it. You don't have to go crazy, bro. That's not healthy, man. Go outside, man. You know what I'm saying? Go outside, bro. For real, man. Like, you be in these houses and you just all in front of all this technology, bro. It's taking over the world, man. Nobody's going outside, bro. And that's actually healthy. When you go outside and, and go for a run and go hoop, you come back to the market, you just so clear. Like, you just feel so refreshed. You ready to, you, you can see setups clearly. But if you just in these monitors all day, all day and night, you're not enjoying life at all. You literally like, I'm about to get this, no matter what type of energy. I, I fuck with that, but it's, it's levels to it, though. When you, you exceed that level, you like, man, I'm not about to sleep tonight type shit. Like, shit like that. Nah. Unhealthy. It was some days I used to didn't eat. I didn't eat, bro. I, I literally would back test for 10 hours straight, not leave this chair, man. This exact spot, I would not leave it. I would be starving my mom. My, my. Lily, my, my, my stomach is making noises, bro. I'm growling and shit. Bro, listen. That's not healthy. I'm going to just leave it at that. That's not healthy, man. And I know you probably want it bad. You're like, man, I don't want to take a step. I don't want to. I don't got time to be taking breaks, man. You know what I'm saying? And I feel you. But when you get, when you get to that level, you feel like, man, I'm so exhausted. It's that time. It's that time because when you get to the market and you already just exhausted, you're going to be looking at setups that's not even there. Your mind is going to be playing tricks on you, bro. You're like, oh, that is clean. No, it's not. It's not clean. So, I really advise if you've been putting in crazy hours to at least go one weekend without back testing. Don't look at no setups. Go, I mean, we can't really do nothing because ain't nothing open, but... And that's the worst thing. We in a pandemic. And we can't do nothing. So I know you probably you probably are busting your ass right now. You probably are. But, bro, just go watch some TV or some link up with somebody. Do something. Because if you keep going crazy on this, I'm telling you, it's going to come. And I'm talking about 10 hours plus. I'm talking for the people that really want it bad like I do. I'm talking about really want it bad. Cutting people off want it bad. If you in a way you cut off, you feel me? That type of energy, bro. So, man, I hope this can help you. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the train psychology, like, cause if you're literally, I'm telling you, man, if you don't take a break when you feel you at that that breaking point, 
you're literally gonna be forcing trades. You're gonna be expecting so much out of the market because your your obsession is taking control of your life, man. This has taken control of my life, but now I'm maintaining it. At first, it was out of control. I put this before anything. It's not healthy, bro. So that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.